Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Today we're talking about built hamber laboratories, not, not laboratories, laboratories. <laughs> Everyone calls them built hamber, but it's built hamber laboratories. I'm gonna get that, that's gonna throw me now. Like when uh, Victoria Derbyshire called Jeremy Hunt something else on, on live TV and blamed it on blokes. Um, built hamber laboratories. This brand is a, it's a brand that uh, I've recommended, talked about a lot on the channel. I'm not sponsored by the brand. They don't pay me any money or anything like that. I just use them because I have to use something at the end of the day and I found these to be some of the most effective products on the market. And I'm gonna tell you about why. And I'm gonna challenge you and see if you think my reasons are good. And they're pretty, pretty hard reasons to beat in my opinion. That's why I use them. Now, first up, they're a UK brand. They formulate, so the guy, behind the brand, um, Peter Hamber does, produces the formulations for these products. Their company background was, they actually made safes originally, you know, like the old stuff you put your money in. I think they still make them. Then they moved into corrosion protection systems, started selling corrosion protection systems, and still do, but specialist things, um, and then they moved into corrosion protection systems, you know, rust inhibitors, rust converters, undercarriage treatments and stuff like that for cars. And then they started producing detergents and cleaning products for cars, um, you know, that were also good with rust. So they would inhibit kind of rust and wouldn't promote rust. So you could clean your car with them safely. And then their range seems to have expanded to include like fallout removers, waxes and and loads of other products and, and that. Well, not loads, a reasonably limited range. So the next thing, guys, is to understand how Built Hamber fits into how you detail a car. And I'm always describing detailing as in three sections, washing, decontaminating, polishing, and protecting. Now, there's three products in this wash category that Built Hamber have. Surfex HD, which is a concentrated water-based APC degreaser. Auto foam, which is a pre-wash, so you a rinsable pre-wash, you put it on your car prior to making the contact wash, and you rinse it off, and it's supposed to take you know quite a lot of the dirt away so that when you go in with auto wash, their normal bucket wash shampoo, if you like, and make contact, there's a lot less dirt on your paintwork. These three products do 99% of my cleaning. Um, you know, auto foam and auto wash are what are my favorite products to use just to wash the car. Surfex I use to clean my wheels, I use it to clean my engine bay, I use it to clean um, my tires, I use it to clean wheel arches, anything really, anything that, you know, wet cleaning if you like. Very, very strong if you want to, use it at 10 to one at maximum for me. Um, only use it stronger than 10 to one on thick buildups of grease. This stuff is almost as powerful if you use it neat as a, as a non-water based product and it actually makes that claim. And it is a very powerful um, thing, but you can water it right down to 100 to one. So you've got tiny amounts in there just for wiping over your dashboard or your leather and your seats. And at that sort of concentration, it's, you know, it's just very mild. So you can have it mild if you want to. Um, then you move on to decontamination. And, the, and these products, by the way, are probably some of the best on the market. Um, in terms of potency and all that sort of stuff, and other reasons that we'll come back to a little later on. When you move on to decontamination, they have two fallout remover products, Auto Wheels and Corosol. They both contain the purple reactive bleeding fallout remover, TGA if you like, um, thioglycolic acid. You know, try saying that after a few beers. Um, but the auto wheels also contain some stronger alkaline cleaners for helping to degrease and clean out alloy wheels as well. Um, the Corosol is more of a paintwork fallout remover. I would recommend that you just buy the Corosol rather than, unless you just want to. Um, I don't think you need to use, it's so powerful this stuff, I don't think you need to use it week on week out um, to clean your alloy wheels. If you're using this auto wheel stuff, just spray it on the wheel. Don't spray it all over the, the brake discs because it will, it will react with any of the oxide component that's forming on the surface of the brake disc and it will dissolve the oxide. It doesn't dissolve iron, okay? It will dissolve the oxide 
And when you've got oxide forming on, on the surface of your brake discs and it's dissolving it, it will cause pitting um, and stuff like that. So don't spray out on the brake discs. Do not spray out on brake pads and try and keep it away from calipers as well because it will inevitably get onto your brake discs, uh, pads. So just try and spray it around the wheels. It is unbelievable the amount of Instagram shots I see of people spraying, taking wheels off cars, spraying this all over brake discs and uh, promoting it as a brake decon service, which is one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen. Um, so don't, you know, don't decon brake discs. Um, just clean brake discs if, uh, if you want to. I would just recommend you use Corosol and you can use that on your paintwork. Wash your alloy wheels and then if you want to, you know, if you want to do a fallout remover, use this on the alloy wheels. It's, unless you specifically like using this product. The Built Hamber clay bars are very, well, they have the white um, finishing one, they have the black medium one, and, I th and they have the blue regular aggressive one. I think I've got that the right way around. I typically would say that you probably want to go with the white clay bar unless you have an overspray and then the black one will do. The blue one is incredibly aggressive, so you can always step up to that, but I don't really think you need to. These clay bars remove the most contamination out of any clay bar that I've ever seen. They're really full of abrasive, sort of like you can even see it when you tear the clay open. Um, very abrasive clay bars, very stiff clay bars though, that's the downside. But there is a positivity to that, down, that, to that stiffness that is once you've got your discs formed, they're less like chewing gum. Um, so they're quite, they're okay, but a bit of a pain in the winter to, um, to get them going. You know, once you start getting them going, get some heat into them, they're all right. But they're 10 pounds for 200 grams, which is a great price for clay bar. And being built hand lowered the bar in terms of price on clay bars. Um, which you don't often see, you know, and they manufacture this clay. Um, so the norm within the detailing industry, it's very rare for any company to manufacture clay. It's a hard thing to, to make. You need specialized compounding equipment. Um, so what you get is most brands buying their clay off, off people that do manufacture it and, and charging you a lot of money for it. So, you know, it's great when a brand comes along and says, we'll manufacture it in the UK and we'll charge a lot less than what everyone else is charging who's buying it. So I like that, and I think most people do. After your decontamination, you would move on to the abrasives. Built Hamber do not have large ranges of cutting compounds, mid-range one steps, finishing polishes, unfortunately. They're not an abrasive expert, in my opinion. They do have some abrasive product, product, product come on, products. For example, their cleanser polish, which is which is like a glaze, but does have abrasives in it as well for tidying up and priming your paintwork. They also have an abrasive polish and wax. Then they also have a liquid wax with no abrasives in it. So they've got like three type of liquid waxes, if you like, paint preparation products. They also have standard waxes like Double Speed, which costs 14 pounds for 250. Very hydrophobic, durable wax. Um, they have their Finny Wax, which is supposed to be more durable than this, but it's not as hydrophobic and it's easier to work with, but it's twice the cost. So this is a really nice wax. Does everything well and it's very cheap. They also have their Auto Balm, their original wax, which is also quite a cheap wax, which they recommend for older cars. They also have a cleanser fluid panel wipe that I don't use because it's too expensive, but it's very good. Very good. I'm not, you, you can sometimes think I'll just bite the bullet and buy these products, but 15 quid for 500 mil of panel wipe is beyond my budget. Um, and finally, finally, they also have a product here, which is a product that is really not talked about that often and really, really underrated. And that is their Built Hamber Auto QD. The most important thing to understand with the Built Hamber QD, quick detailer, is that it's a concentrate. Um, do not use it neat. I would not even say use it one to one. I would say use it one to th one to two. So two parts water, one part product will make a very nice detail spray, but very strong. If you use it even one to one or one neat, it'll be very white, you know, and a bit, bit streaky. 
Um, so it's primarily concentrate. I also, so I have it, I have it about one to one in here, maybe a little bit less. I don't know. And here, this is probably now running at about one to ten, something like that, between one to five and one to ten. And I use it at that ratio as a drying aid, so I've just mist it all over the car. Um, I also, at that ratio, you could also use it as a clay bar lube. You might want to, they say up the concentration, but you could use it as a clay bar lube at one to 10. Drying aid, you could also use it as a kind of, <coughs> they say a rinseless wash. It has charged polymer technology. So like the Switter Ionic thing, a bit like O&R. So it's trying to suspend the dirt. Um, I just find it's a really versatile product. It's not gonna make your car, you know, there's detail sprays which will provide you beading that will last for months. It's, this is not going to do that. There are detail sprays that are slicker. There are detail sprays that use SiO2 and all that sort of stuff. But this is the detail spray I choose to use because um, I just use it to tidy up my car and just add a bit of sort of that fresh dress look. A bit like I say with a tyre, when you clean a tyre, you want that fresh dress look on it. And it just allows me to get all my panels nice and tidy and glossed up after I've finished um, doing the car. I love this stuff, it's one of my favorite details. It smells nice as well, which is unusual for built Hammer products. So that's the product. You've also got this Atom Mac, which is a concentrated um, water-based rust inhibitor that you can spray all over your rotors or your brake discs, as we call them in the civilized world, to help prevent them oxidizing during the wash. Not guaranteed to stop them oxidizing. Someone said to me, they bought this, they put it on, they wash their car and their rotors still went orange. Well, if you're hitting your rotors, your, your brake discs with corrosive shampoos, it might not be strong enough to stop that oxidization, but it will help, it works. Um, and it's great value. I just find you don't need it so much when you're using all of the built Hamber products, because all of these products inhibit rust anyway. Um, either through having rust inhibitors in them or just through being alkaline. So you, it's an optional product that. Um, it's handy to have, but I'm not sure if I'll bother with it going forward. Don't know. Maybe if I had an old classic car that was prone to rust, it, it would almost be essential. Right, now I'm going to go back to the point of this video. I've just made some notes here that helped me. In the UK, the, the UK detailing industry is relatively big, one of the biggest in the world apart from America because of the population but we have a massive detailing industry in the UK because we love our cars and we don't mind spending money on it. The coolest thing about having a big detailing industry is you have a massive amount of choice in the UK you have literally thousands of detailing brands okay and lots of detailing brands starting now every week um, so you have choice choice is a good thing you if you want Two, you can go very, very cheap in the UK. You can use bulk chemical suppliers. You know, you go and get five litres. You can get five litres of concentrated snow foam from Bonnyman's for like £4.50. It's decent quality snow foam, you know. You can get cheap from all sorts of chemical providers if you want it. You can also go high-end in the UK if you want to. Um, you know, we've probably got some high-end brands that will charge you massive amounts of money for small amounts of products. and. Nothing wrong with that if you want to go high end. That company's got to convince you that it's worth spending that money though. Um, you know, and some of them have got the credentials and you might, and the desirability and some of them want to charge you high end without those credentials. You've got to earn it, I think. That's how I feel about high end. So you've got choice. The first thing, we've all got, all got different requirements on products as well. With Built Hamber, or with detailing, my brain or my requirements is I want to see some sort of expertise or excellence, you know, excellence in certain areas of car care. And I get with Built Hamber the impression that they have that excellence and expertise in really knowing about cars and in especially kind of panels and things that are prone to rusting and how to formulate products that are going to prevent rusting and corrosion but also be very effective at cleaning and I, that sounds obvious but it's really true that's the heart of understanding built hamber stuff which doesn't promote corrosion stuff which is very very powerful at cleaning not all ph neutral stuff virtually none of their stuff is ph neutral it's all alkaline you know all this stuff is alkaline it's all pretty strong 
People ask me, is it going to strip my wax off my car? No, it's not going to strip your wax off your car. You're the number one factor in what, of your waxes and or your protection being deteriorated is not going to be the choice of detergent, really. It's just going to be, um, you know, whether the car's outside or inside, how often you wash it. If you were using a pH neutral shampoo versus this alkaline one, you might, you know, pH neutral might erode your wax away after 25 washes. Well, this might erode it away after 22. That's the sort of rough level of distance difference because you're using tiny amounts of these products at very low concentrations, you know, like one unit of product to a thousand units of water. So it's not that significant. Okay, so they've got the excellence um, you know, their products seem to be based on performance. So they'll take a market leading product in a certain area if they're developing a product, you know, and they'll, they'll compare it and they'll just formulate it to outperform the market leading product. Um, you know, that's on their website. You can see the pictures of the testings and stuff they've done, which you, you could say, well, that's just all uh, marketing. It's not um, from what I can see. Because whenever I've tested these products, they seem to outperform other products. And you guys, you know, you guys say the same thing. They're very powerful. Um, Non-corrosive, non-caustic is very important. You will not find any, as far as I know, any hydroxides or any phosphoric acids or the cheap, powerful chems that you will get in lots of low-grade um detergents you know there are there's no hydroxides they will not use sodium hydroxide and stuff like that because they've got a very strong opinion on that with routine with use of it through routine uh, washes and same with phosphoric acids and phosphates and all that sort of stuff they're also therefore biodegradable you know so you're not putting any nasty chems down the drains and all that sort of stuff and i like that you know i don't like the idea of using caustic materials to wash my car. You know, I maintain it regularly, I maintain it well. I want powerful chems, but I do not want caustic chemicals. I don't want things turning white and, you know, things going funny colors. Reg was saying to me the other day, ruined some bits of his BMW and he's been using some funky chems on them. You know, you, you want the chems to be powerful, but you don't want any of that horrible, you know, you don't want your brake calipers turning yellow after you've cleaned them because they're starting to oxidize. Um, next up, this is a very, very important point. <sighs> this is a controversial one, guys, but I do not want to be paying lots and lots of money for water. Um, and you will not find any brand anywhere on the face of the planet that are better on this regard than Built Hamber. Virtually all of their products are concentrates. So let's take Surfex HD, for example. This product costs 17 pounds for five liters of concentrated water-based degreaser. You should bulk this down to one to 10 for most exterior cleaning on the car. Heavy, heavy degreasing, engine bays you can do with one to 10, okay? So at 17 pounds for five liters, at one to 10, you get 50 liters. So 50 liters of product. So it effectively costs you Jesus, oh no. <laughs> 50 litres of product for £17. So five litres of product for £1.70. Therefore, you pay, to make a litre of, of this, you pay 34p. And if you compare, let's, let's knock it down to 500 mil in fact. So you pay 17p for a 500 mil bottle of, of powerful, at one to 10, water-based APC degreaser. Typically, you'll see people selling APCs for £7.99 for 500 mil. You know, that's not, some of them are more expensive than that. Some will be cheaper. Um, so you could pay eight pounds for a bottle of, of APC, or you could pay 17p for a bottle of APC. Um, all of these products, auto foam is concentrated. You can argue there's more concentrated ones on the market than this. This is as concentrated as any of them. It's just built Hamber that produced a system where if they know if you run this at 4%, it will strip off most of the dirt on your car. It's very effective at that ratio. So they formulated it to actually remove dirt. 
as you guys tell me as well, lots of pH neutral snow foams won't remove road film. Um, you know, so if your requirement is a product that actually removes road film, then this is great. Auto wash uh, shampoo. This is around somewhere between one to a thousand to one to two thousand concentrate. You're supposed to use about seven mil of it or tiny amounts in the bucket. People do say to me that it doesn't, it's not that foamy when they use it at the concentration that Bill Hamber advised. Stick a bit more in. Um, I can make this foam up lovely, but I know what you mean. I'd almost wish that this was slightly less concentrated and a bit more user friendly in a bigger bottle without the big openings. Because you, so you can just take your shampoo and put some in the bucket. Um, but I don't really care that much, you know, I'll just dose it out. Moving on to their fallout removers. These are the most reactive, powerful fallout removers on the market, bar none. There's a big difference with these and how they react. The, the quickness of the purple reaction is an indication of the TGA um, portion of the product. And that's the expensive component. When you spray them onto very dirty alloy wheels, even a low concentrated one will light up purple because there's just an abundance of oxide there for it to react with. Um, so you can get away with watering these products right down to make them look, and they'll still look good. You can put more detergent in with them so they foam up. That gives them that gives an air, that gives a a feel of quality when it's foaming, but it's the TGA portion. And this is one of the strongest fallout removers on the market, as I tested. Not the cheapest though, unfortunately. Um, so if you want cheap ones, by all means go for cheaper ones, but this does me. Their clay bars are fantastically priced. I've talked about that already, uh, about £9.95 for 200 grams. So you've got to ask yourself the question, do you want to pay £15 for 100 grams when you can pay £9.99 for 200? Okay, that theme continues all the way through. They have a really great pace wax that's £14.99. Do you want to pay 50, 60, 70 quid for a pace wax? Um, some people will, and I might as well, actually. So the answer is yes, but only for fun, you know, only to explore it. Uh, I might, next time around, I'll, I'll buy their Finny Wax because I just want to try that wax again. Um, and it might be a bit easier to buff. So, but essentially this wax does me fine. It dries, it doesn't smear. Just don't put too much on, don't leave it for too long or you could buff it and still find little bits of wax on there. And then you can use their Auto QD to sort of spray on there to help you buff off any excess wax. Uh, I've already talked about the QD. I love this product, it's so useful. I just washed both my cars this morning before the sun come out, the Blue Peril and the Golf, just one bucket went over them, rinsed off, and then just misted this all over the car, towed up, towel dried it. This goes on the glass, on the plastics, everything. Just mist it on, and at a low concentration, there's no streakiness to it, but I can see it melting the water, and I can feel the towel feels so slick when I dry the car. Um, it's just great, it's just, and you know, I've got about less than a pound's worth of product in this whole entire bottle, because it's a concentrate, so it's, the whole cost per wash is so cheap with Built Hammer. That is the final point, guys, that it's very hard to beat the price of um, all of the Built Hammer products when you factor in the concentrations. The classic example is the APC. Can you, are you paying 8p, you know, for 500 mil or 17p for 500 mil of your APC? If you're not and you're paying eight pounds, we'll try this one next because um, it could save you a hell of a lot of money. That is pretty much it, guys. I think Bill Hamber have also very recently rebranded all their products to make them look a bit sharper. These are looking a little bit dated, aren't they? A little bit dated. I always find these, these bottles are fine and all that sort of stuff. Um, so, yeah, look, they've done a little brand refresh thing as well. That's it, guys. Um, the negatives, the negatives, we always try and review stuff. I've praised Built Hamber so much, I feel like I can charge in there and weigh out negatives. The negatives are there's some gaps in the line. I wish they had a tyre dressing, a rubber and tyre dressing, you know, uh, uh, you know, for exterior trim as well, that you could blacken. 
I use Carpro Pearl because that's a concentrate and it's got, it darkens down and it seems to bond and last. In fact, I'm staring at Carpro Pearl now on my tires and it looks amazing, it just looks amazing and, and it will last a good amount of time. So I don't, I'm fine with Built Hammer not having one because I've got a really good one with Carpro, uh, but I'd like them to do it. I'd like their cleanser fluid to be a bit more value for money. Um, what else do I want? They don't have a glass cleaner. You can use a cleanser fluid, I suppose, but it's a bit too strong to use as a glass cleaner. You want a water solvent, don't you really? So there's some little gaps in their line. They don't have the range of cutting compounds, mid-range compounds, finishing polishes, and their sealants are prim primarily carnauba wax-based. Um, but that doesn't bother me. I'll use wax because it's fine. It's good, it's lovely. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. I get to review lots of products and you know I'm interested in detailing products still. Um, but I've yet to find, they don't have a tar and glue remover either. Their, um, their cleanser fluid can take a thin film of tar off paintwork, but it's not good if you've got the big spots, clumps of it in the wheels. It's not quite strong enough to melt that down instantly, although it will have a go. They don't have a dedicated water spot remover either. I'm just looking over at my shelves at some of the other products. Um, Bill Hammer, phenomenal brand. Um, whenever I talk about products and brands, doesn't matter what the brand is, if it's you know Auto Glim, if it's Turtle Wax, if it's Meguiar's, um, any other brand, like chemical guys, someone ha will hate them and go you know go on the attack and really tear into this brand. It really, up something's upset them. Something's triggered them about this brand. No one's ever triggered by Bill Hammer. The only time I've seen people criticise it, I've come to the conclusion they've got a dog in the race and they're, they, they, they sell other products. Um, and they're just trying to, you know, when people tell me that these products don't clean very well, I know that that is complete and utter nonsense. Um, things like that, you know, oh, this product doesn't clean very well. I use this one, it's much better. It's, they usually, usually, usually find out they plug or they're selling that other one, you know, they sell it on eBay or something like that. Um, so very few people have come up with any credible um, faults with the Built Hamber products. I'm just trying to think really. Some people say that they're not foamy enough, their products, that's a credible fault. So if you like foamy products, you probably don't like the Built Hamber stuff, but their foam is not that important. It looks nice, it's fun. You know, yes, maybe it helps with clean, but doesn't make any difference really you want to use you're probably gonna if you put heavy concentrations of foamy products on your car you're probably increasing the risk of soap stains uh, and stuff like that from where the the products fall down and sit in recesses and it's harder to rinse all of that excess detergent out so you want to use them at sensible concentrations as well that's it for this video guys put in the comments what you think about this brand they're awesome for me. And this is the stuff that I use, the bread and butter kind of stuff. Uh, and just phenomenal, phenomenal, never let me down. So um, thanks for watching guys. I shall see you soon on the Forensics Detailing channel.